Hello again, I'm Joe Dawes. And I'm Michelle Sherwood. Thanks for joining us. The long arm of the law is extending outside county lines for several Ozark Sheriff's Departments. Deputies from Christian and Taney counties and the Sheriff's Departments there joined the U.S. Marshals Task Force. Last night, they helped capture their first fugitive. KSPR's Emily Rittman explains how they plan to take more serious fugitives off the streets. For most county deputies, when a fugitive hides outside their county lines, they have to rely on other agencies to capture them. Now six agencies are teaming up to catch criminals all over southwest Missouri. I'm one of the people that likes to uh, find people. Christian County Deputy Barney Munhollen normally serves every type of court document. In Christian County, deputies have served plenty of warrants. Each file you see here is a person who hasn't been to court or caught. I like the challenge of... Uh, finding people that don't like to be found and, or think that they can't be found. And Holland will take on the challenge. He is now one of two Christian County deputies who joined the U.S. Marshals Task Force for fugitive warrants. He was sworn in as a special U.S. Marshal, which means county lines no longer matter when he's searching for certain suspects. As long as the deputies are with the deputy marshal and acting under the color of their office, they're considered deputy marshals. They have the same arrest authority and the same jurisdictional powers. The task force used weeks worth of intelligence to nab this man, murder suspect Billy Wayne Hall in Taney County. Four U.S. Marshals, two ATF officers, plus an ICE agent and deputies from three sheriff's departments will work together now to bring in fugitives like Hall. I couldn't afford to produce that many deputies to chase Billy Hall down. Christian County Sheriff Joey Kyle says the task force adds manpower without eating up lots of local resources. When the task force is working, they might be chasing a federal fugitive or a local fugitive. Green County, Green County has been a part of this task force since 2005, and they just added another part-time employee to the force. We asked how all of the departments prioritize federal and local fugitive warrants, and they say they act on the most serious warrant that they have, the most information on the whereabouts of that suspect. Covering Christian County, Emily Rittman, KSPR News.